Hello and welcome to another Zoost video. Um, now, we're always asking you, the viewers, what you'd like to see, and a very kind uh, one of our subscribers has asked to know what the importance of the neck of the horse is. Um, and so the following video is just going through why we as osteopaths find the neck such an important area of the horse, and it's often overlooked. Um, so have a look at this and uh, hopefully um, it'll make you want to ask some more questions and please please do so you know subscribe if you're not already um, hit the notification button but please ask me for any videos you would like and if they're in our power to do uh, then we will produce them for you. Now the neck is a really important part of the horse it doesn't just hold the head it also um, connects the mouth to both the lungs and the stomach via the uh, the lungs via the trachea or airway and the stomach via the esophagus or food tube. Um, you'll see we're looking right down into the chest there because the neck then blends down into the chest. Now up here, just behind the blue of the, of the head collar, um, just behind that to your right um, is an apparatus called the hyoid and the hyoid ensures that those two tubes remain open and don't kink when the horse flexes or extends the neck or, or bends the neck to one side or the other. And now this chap's flicking his head around because he doesn't particularly want to stand still. He'd rather be fed. Um, you will see some old scarring halfway down the neck. Um, yeah, this chap had an accident. But what's more important is look at that beautiful top line to the neck. It is an unbroken neck. It's not perfect, but it is pretty damned good. And shows that you've got a smooth line down from what's called the nuchal ligament and that down into the withers. And the ventral part, the underside of the throat, is nice and smooth too. What we don't want to see is the underside bowed and the top side dropped and there, are st there being a step in front of the withers. That would indicate a horse that is not moving properly. He's also smooth over the, the scapulae and shoulder blades. Um, and that's where sort of the, the neck then blends in with the chest and what we call the thoracic sling, which is the sling of musculature, which we're just looking down into now, um, which connects the front legs to the chest uh, via the um, shoulder blades or scapulae.